Hey, so my name is Kat, and today I want to be talking about my debilitating fatigue. So if you're new to my channel, and you don't know what medical limbo is, you might want to check this video out. That's basically what my channel is mostly about. I don't totally focus on that with all of my videos, but that's basically what my channel is about. Hi, my name is Kat. So my fatigue is not totally diagnosed. I have some ideas of where it comes from. Obviously I do have some diagnoses. A lot of people think that because my channel mainly focuses around being undiagnosed that I'm not diagnosed with anything at all and that is not true at all. I have a lot of diagnoses. A few of them would be interstitial cystitis which does contribute to my fatigue because it keeps me up at night and my juvenile rheumatoid arthritis that contributes to my fatigue. My tic disorder that I have contributes to my fatigue. A lot of my um, conditions contribute to fatigue. Um, my fatigue has gotten to the point where it's extreme, where I'm really only awake maybe four hours to maybe seven hours out of the day and the rest I'm sleeping. Um, if you watch my videos, you know I always have extremely horrible under eye bags. When I make a video, I literally am trying not to fall asleep when I'm making the video. And I recently just went to a sleep facility for my um, fatigue and the fact that I'm sleeping all the time. So I still have not got any of the results for that yet. But I wanted to talk about my fatigue because I really haven't talked about it. Um, at all on my channel. I have my first video that kind of goes over things very small and I really need to redo that because that video is awful um, and kind of update people on everything and make sure it makes a little bit more sense um, but I and I'm going to I'm getting to that but today I wanted to talk about my fatigue so um, basically fatigue is where you're extremely, extremely, extremely tired. And I don't really want to explain it that way because when people think of tired, they just think of, oh, you worked all day and you came home. It's not like that. It's like you haven't slept forever. No matter how much sleep I get, I wake up even more tired or just as tired when I went to sleep. Um, fatigueness drains you mentally. Um, I'm autistic and so it makes, when I, the more fatigue I am, the easier it is for me to have a meltdown when I'm doing something because I constantly feel like I'm running on a time limit to get something done before I crash and have to go to sleep. Um, I get to the point where I have to be a specific amount of fatigued before I will let myself go to sleep because otherwise I don't have a life and I'm constantly sleeping and it's nothing like depression sleep. Um, eventually with that you have to get up. Um, with this, um, I could sleep forever. My mom has to come in and be like, hey, you haven't woken up in a day or two, you need to wake up. Because I can literally sleep for three days and not realize it. The only thing I'm doing is getting up to go to the bathroom and sleeping. My mom will wake me up sometimes and may force me to eat. And when I mean that, she will feed me. And, um, it's bad. It's it's really bad. It's kind of it's part of the reason why I cannot work besides my bladder and um, my tic disorder and a lot of other things. But anyway, I'm not able to drive very much. There are days that I do drive, but it is a short distance. Um, I have given myself a limit. I won't go any more than 30 minutes out of my way because that's an hour total and the time that I'm there, of course. Um, and even that is probably a little bit too long now. I haven't gone 30 minutes out of my way in several months. The longest I've gone probably um, with myself driving is maybe 15 minutes and um, each time I go I just I hate driving. I have a lot of ticks. I'm not really ticking right now um, thankfully because I have a lot of brain fog right now and that's hard to talk when I'm having ticks but um, oh if you want to learn about my ticks a little bit you can click on my tick disorder evolution video right that's right up here um, we don't know very much about it though we just know that they're ticks we just don't know what type of disorder it is but anyway um, ticks do contribute a lot to my fatigueness my mouth is always moving my uh, <laughs> um, it's 
See, this is why I don't talk when I'm doing ticks, because I just ticked and now I'm lost my thought process. Like, I want you to think about it. When you're constantly having to move and you don't already have... It's basically my ticks are forcing me to exercise after I've been exercising all day from my body just not being able to function properly. Um, holding a drink up for me is like, you know, a greater aid doesn't weigh that much. But this is act if I would this is actually really heavy for me. There are days that I have to use my other hand to hold up my arm while I'm drinking. Um, when I'm vlogging and I'm holding my camera up by myself, I have to use my cane to keep my hand up because of how um, weak I am with my muscles and stuff. So basically my tics are constantly making me work out and work out. You know, there's periods in time, like right now, where I can go maybe about 20 minutes, an hour the most, without ticking. And, you know, during that time it's sporadic. I might have one or two ticks throughout there, but I'm not having, like, huge tick attacks. The tick attacks drain you. And if you have a tick disorder and you're watching this, you understand that. And there's a lot of people that just have tick disorders, but I have a lot of other disorders, you know. My takes me three hours or more to go to sleep because I have to pee every five minutes before I can fall asleep and then I'm waking up because my bladder is swollen and I'm having to empty my bladder out you know every hour um, I can't breathe see um, I'm really out of breath all the time and that's another thing that contributes to my fatigue <laughs> one of the ways that I deal with my fatigue is I will drink caffeine it is kind of like a um, necessary evil. I don't like the fact that I have to dry, drink caffeine, but I do. It's very hard on my bladder because I have interstitial cystitis. It's a chronic painful um, bladder disease. Um, it's incurable, so chronic. Yeah, fatigue is caused by a lot of my disorders. I am um, eager to find out what else is causing this new type of fatigue because when I was a child I was fatigued, but um, I could only sleep for so long and now literally I have to set alarms to force myself to get up because otherwise my mom will wake up, will come in my room, you know, because she works a lot and will be like, dude, I haven't seen you in like four days, <laughs> where are you at? I'm like, just in my room sleeping and, you know, I'm missing a lot of things when I'm sleeping so I um, hope that I can get some treatment or at least just have a name for a name for this new type of fatigue. They hired testing me for narcolepsy and stuff. Um, you will by the time this is up, you will be seeing you will have by the time this is up, you will already have seen my sleep disorder vlog, or it'll at least be up already. So you can go check that out right here. Um, but they were testing me for narcolepsy, and my bladder kind of I think it messed up the test. Um, because it wasn't accurate because I wasn't able to fall asleep and um, I don't always like in that video I said I don't always have flares like that at night I normally just have retention flares which sometimes are painful but nowhere near painful like that um, it was but we're probably gonna have to redo that and that's okay I need an accurate test we need to find out what's wrong with me so something I have to tell myself constantly is that I don't need to feel guilty for the amount of sleep I need. Um, I need at least 10 to 14 hours of sleep, which is a lot, um, before I will even get up. Um, I can't open my eyes if I don't have that um, much sleep normally. Um, on my sleep study vlog, they forced me to get up and they had to keep me up. So they were constantly in the room waking me up, waking me up, waking me up to keep me from falling asleep. Um, I'm so used to being fatigued that I can look kind of awake, you know. I'm extremely fatigued right now, and the only real notice, you, the only real way you can tell is through my eye bags, and um, I don't wear makeup, so they're they're known. Um, they're not that bad, but they're pretty bad. Um, you know, if you deal with fatigue, just know that the the toll that it takes on your mental health is not uncommon. It's com completely normal for you to be easily upset and get angrier faster and all the negative symptoms that fatigue can cause. Um, there are some people that can't even drive because they can literally fall asleep when they're driving. Um, 
I haven't fallen asleep when I'm driving and um, I don't really fall asleep sitting up very easily. Thankfully, I can kind of keep myself from falling asleep, which are, when you fall asleep like that, it's called sleep attacks. So I don't have sleep attacks. I do have difficulties with keeping myself awake, where my eyes are just wanting to close. So I've um, never actually experienced where I'm totally falling asleep, but I'm getting to the point where, I've gotten to the point where I can, can't can really um, go to sleep, where I'm forced to like, okay, I have to go to sleep now. I have to get up from doing whatever I was doing and go to sleep and make the choice to go to sleep because Otherwise, I just get to the point where I'm crying and I'm miserable and I've got a migraine and I just need to kind of give up for the day and go to sleep because I kind of feel like the whole day I'm trying to stay awake and I'm trying to do my best and then at night I kind of be like, okay, you did your best today. Go to sleep. So, so I just want to say thank you for watching this video. If you could give it a like, comment, and share, and don't forget to subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks for being alive. Bye.